Hi, my name's Eric and I'm with JMTC and today we're going to talk about the number two failure that we see uh, on a brand new turbo. And, and it's part of our series, How to Kill a Turbo Quick. So they're not in order as what's the quickest failure, they're in order of the, of the, the way that we see them come in. Like people will have a turbo that failed on a new install or uh, existing turbo and usually this, we, the number one failure is the highest failure and the number two failure is the second highest. So that's why we're going in this order rather than saying number one failure is lack of oil. So we want to just clarify that so you, we don't, you don't misunderstand us. All right, so I've got some props here that we can uh, to help you understand what goes on when the Cadillac converter gets clogged with oil. So here is the here is the Cadillac converter core, and you can see that the face of it is is uh, porous. So it, the air will actually the exhaust fumes will actually flow through here and out the back side. So it's it's a straight channel, and what it does is the ceramic in here is impregnated with like metals that will actually heat up with the exhaust, and it'll get it'll get really hot. It'll get red hot, glowing red hot enough to ignite any unburned fuel that goes through the Cadillac converter. So this thing is glowing hot and you and what happens is when you get a turbo failure the the bearings or the seal will actually come come loose and oil will will leak past the back of the turbo and back past the turbine and it'll flow into your Cadillac converter. And all these pores here will get hit with the splash of oil, a spray of oil, and then they'll start to absorb the oil. And depending on the amount of oil that goes through it, you can it, some of these will get clogged, and the, the amount of debris that's in there will get stuck and coked because the oil will actually burn as it hits the uh, Cadillac converter and leave behind all the particles that were in the oil which were suspended in the oil. This will clog all of these little holes. And when these holes are clogged, it will actually slow down the air, restrict the air, and you build up pressure in, in your exhaust pipe. Now, if you look here, you can see how this is discolored here. That's, that's from some oil and other debris getting into the, cat, into the Cadillac converter and this absorbing it and sticking to it. So this, this same way, the oil will do the same thing. It'll absorb and stick into here, and then pretty soon, these holes will get clogged. Okay, now we're going to talk about what damage is done to your turbo with the back pressure. So, your turbo is sitting here with your uh, inside your housing, like this, about like this. So you got your uh, turbine, your exhaust manifold, and your uh, bearing housing. So the pressure will build up in the bearing housing, and when the pressure builds up in the bearing housing, it pushes the exhaust turbine forward and what happens is what's inside this turbo is I've got it I've got it broken down here assembled partly assembled here you've got two snap rings in here bearing snap rings there and they hold the, the turbine in there so when the exhaust pressure is pushing up against pushing inwards these snap rings are being forced into the the bearing housing, and they're they're bathed in oil. But over time, they will begin to wear, and they'll even get paper thin. And once they get paper thin, what happens is this will just push forward, and it'll push right into the push the uh, compressor right into the compressor housing and stop the the turbine. When that happens, the oil leaks out everywhere and you pretty you destroy the turbo you you've damaged your your turbine you've damaged your uh, compressor housing you've damaged your uh, bearing housing and in some cases it'll hit so hard that it'll actually break the the shaft off inside the turbo housing and we talked about that in part one about the death rattle which kills your uh, exhaust manifold now um, We've also uh, seen cases where 
the exhaust is so backed up and it gets so hot and so pressurized it'll crack the exhaust manifold and it'll crack your uh, your exhaust turbine housing so that is the reason why we said we recommend that you change your ex tur uh, sorry your Cadillac converter with your turbo because there's really on the Mini Cooper the uh, Cadillac converter sits horizontally and on top is a 90 degree elbow and below is a 90 degree elbow so all the oil sprays right down on top of it and there's no way to know there's no way to even see if any oil is in there even though a lot of people will, will look through the tur the Cadillac the hole in the exhaust to look at the Cadillac converter maybe shine a light through it but the problem is you don't see the clogs on on this area you're looking through a two inch or two and a half inch hole in the center on most Cadillac converters and you don't see that these are blocked over here or if you look here where the oil is on the bottom where the oil has coked on the bottom of this Cadillac converter and you don't see it because you you're you're you'll see this area here you're not going to see this area here but remember back pressure is bad for a turbo turbos like to breathe they're not they're not designed to be to have back pressure on the exhaust side of the turbo so save yourself about four grand because a turbo uh, one turbo is a thousand and installs 500 a second turbo is another thousand another installs 500 and a Cadillac converter is also a thousand so you're looking right around four thousand dollars in in a turbo change so make the right decision and change your Cadillac converter with your turbo when you have a turbo failure all right well we hope you enjoy part two of uh, how to kill your turbo quickly just want to recap a little bit um, after replacing a new turbo you want to always want to replace it with your oil supply line because the this is not the oil supply line is not that big and oil can coke inside of it and then the coked oil will flake off from you disconnecting the, the oil supply line when you do your turbo change part two was uh, replace the Cadillac converter with a new one after a turbo failure and the reason is because the the oil will actually clog these holes and create back pressure and the back pressure will wear out your turbo uh, thrust or your turbo snap rings and cause your turbine to move forward into your turbo turbo compressor housing and then it'll it'll stop it from spinning eventually and possibly snap it off or damage your turbo beyond repair. So the reason for these videos is to educate you on preventative maintenance which will save you money and time. Um, if you have any questions on uh, uh, Mini Coopers, please feel free to give us a call at 480-559-5401 or visit us our, on our site at jmturbocoopers.com and we'll see you next time on part three.